I'm the president of Texas Entertainment Group and Texas Tent, based in Dallas, Texas. And this is my Ilea Dallas moment. I didn't say that right, did I? Spotlight. Spotlight. Okay, let me do that again. <laughs> Hi, my name is Bobby Bradley. I'm the president of Texas Entertainment Group and Texas Tent, based in Dallas, Texas. And this is my Ilea Dallas Spotlight. If I was stuck on a desert island, I would definitely bring three things. The first thing that I would bring is my wife. Sorry, Tracy, I had to throw that in. The second thing that I would bring is my cell phone. And the third thing that I would bring is a pair of underwear. Well, you can't run around naked all the time. No, no. Well, I mean, you could. Your wife's there. Yeah. Your wife's there. So yeah, yeah. You should. The proudest moment that I've had with our companies, um, really, it can't be described in just one moment. It's described in, in many moments that have occurred throughout the years. One of my goals in my business is really to improve the quality of the life and the outcome of all those that work with us and for us. And so throughout the years, people have come to work with this and upon departure for whatever reason, generally they leave in a much better spot than whenever they arrived with us. And so truly, the best part of what I do in business is helping people get to where they want to be and improving their lives. Uh, tell us a little bit more about the Texas uh, Entertainment Group and Texas Tent. So Texas Entertainment Group is an attraction-based rental company. We've got products that we provide for large events and those products are in a mix of categories. Typically they're entertainment driven. So we have items like outdoor rides, like zip lines and carnival rides. We have interactive inflatable games like mechanical bulls and sumo wrestling and obstacle courses. We've got photo and video products like photo booths and video booths. We ran arcade games for large events. And so we have a variety of different unique attractions that people get to play on, play in, or play with. Now Texas Tent is a core tent rental business. We have products like tents and tables and chairs and anything that goes under a tent. What's your biggest pet peeve? So my largest pet peeve is being around someone who simply just doesn't care. One of my mottos is that I wanna be excellent in everything and unfortunately not everyone feels the same. And so really, it just bothers me when people just don't give 100% effort and don't try to their max ability. What's the one thing you can't live without? Science would say things like oxygen and water. In reality, at this point in my life, the one thing I couldn't live without is my wife. If you won the lottery, what's the first thing you would do? If I won the lottery, the first thing that I would do is I would make a list of people that have had a huge impact in my life and I would write on that list exactly how much money that I could legally gift to them. And I would actually give away money to others first before I did anything for myself. Okay. You'd be on the list, don't you? Hey, make sure we're on that list. Oh, you, you'd be on the list. <laughs> what was the first concert you attended? The first concert I attended, I was actually in junior high school and I snuck into a concert at Six Flags. The band was an old eighties band you may know them, you may not. It was called Air Supply. And I can remember vividly in this concert, somehow we ended up around the 12th or 13th row in this general admission section. And somehow I ended up the uh, recipient of a sweaty towel from the lead singer of Air Supply. <laughs> and a couple old ladies were trying to beat me up for this towel. And finally I just said, here, you can have it. Cause like, I don't need a sweaty towel from some old dude with 1980s hair. Were you all out of love? <laughs> I was all out of love, yes. What is your favorite tip for someone new to the special event industry? Probably my first piece of advice for someone that's new in the special, special event industry would first, with their job, try to learn as much as possible quickly and listen to others. I would tell them to surround themselves with people that have been in the industry a long time because I find that throughout the people in our industry, regardless of who they work for, people really want to share and they want to teach and they want to help people be better. And so I would definitely encourage people to surround themselves through an organization like ILEA 
so that they can network and they can get great education opportunities so that they can further their career and be better employees for their employers. So what is it about ILEA that made you want to join? So I joined ILEA in the beginning, and this was a long time ago. I, I think it was over 20 years ago. I joined because, um, well, there was a guy named, well, he's still, he's still, he's still named Chris Arredondo. Um, he was a, a client of mine and he suggested that I come because um, it would help grow my business. And so the first reason that I joined was actually to meet new people so I could grow revenue. It didn't take long that my reason for being a part of ILEA changed. Um, shortly after I really got ingrained in, uh, in the organization, I realized that relationships with our friends and customers within the organization was a, was a critical component of my membership with ILEA. And then I came to realize also that I was learning quite a bit about how to be a better vendor and how to be a better uh, customer to people through the education that the organization provided. What's your favorite movie? Oh, my favorite movie, this is easy. It is the best Christmas movie of all time. Die Hard. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Who inspires me? You know, that's a great question because I've had, um, I've had lots of different mentors in my, uh, in my career. You know, I think back to, uh, well, there's, there's one person that, that, that I, for a long time, I, I kind of wanted to be like, and it was, uh, his name is Terry Doherty. It's actually my wife's dad. Uh, he was just a, a great example of, of what a, a loving, caring father and a, and a great business person kind of looked like and how that wrapped into one. Since then, I've had the opportunity to surround myself with other business owners and business leaders that have invested into me. And so, I mean, I could go down the names and George and Tim and Jason and Darren, Paul, all these guys know who they are, but um, there's been a lot of people that have really invested into me personally and professionally. And uh, I just really appreciate each of them. What is your favorite thing about special events? My favorite thing about special events is to see the reaction on the attendees' faces whenever they're getting to see something new or they're getting to experience something new or taste something new. It's kind of like creating that wow moment for people. I've always been driven and motivated by seeing that experience on others. And how'd you get started in the special event industry? So I got started in the special event industry when I was in high school. One of my high school teachers, my actually my biology teacher, had a mobile DJ business. And one night he invited me to be a, a roadie for him. He paid me $10 and promised to buy me dinner at Burger King if I would go and move speakers for him. I came to realize in a hurry that I really, really enjoyed performing and being on stage. And so soon thereafter, I started my own DJ business. And so that kind of started the career back when I was 16 years old and it's led me, here we are, 34 years later, uh, to having what I would almost argue is a successful career in the special events industry. Um, if you had advice for your 16 year old self, what would you tell him? If I had advice for my 16 year old self, I don't know that I could say this on camera. <laughs> If you had professional advice for your 16-year-old oh, self, if I had what professional, would you tell him? If I had professional advice for my 16-year-old self, the number one thing that I would tell him is to don't quit. And don't allow the opinions of others to have an impact of not only of the opinion of yourself, but also your self-worth and what you believe that you can achieve. Bobby, give us some fun facts about yourself. Fun facts about myself. I love to play golf. I love to start new businesses. I love to sell businesses. And I guess along with that, I love to make money. I love to serve people. I consider myself a servant leader. I love to help people. And, and oftentimes I get myself in trouble because I volunteer to help too much with people. I was a drummer in a band and toured for four years. Oh, 
I'm, I'm like trying stuff. to think like what it, what does what does nobody know about me? No, but that's cool. I yeah. Know that. Oh, I I do have one other. Oh yeah. I started my career in the inflatable game business by buying a sewing machine and building, actually sewing my first inflatable. What's your favorite travel spot? Prior to 2019, I would say that my favorite travel spot would be really any beach that I could sit on and not have to worry about anything. But I had a, a, a unique uh, trip with my wife for our 25th anniversary and we spent two weeks in Italy and I could go back to Italy every single year. So now that's my favorite travel spot. Three words to describe Texas entertainment. Customer service oriented. This is more than one word. Best in the business and servants of our customers. What's your favorite food or what's your favorite drink? <laughs> My favorite food is shrimp. And there's a funny story behind it. When I was growing up, I was actually a really large child. In fact, in fifth grade, I weighed 150 pounds. I was 5'10 and, well, I'm 5'10 and 3 fourths now, so I was almost full grown in elementary school. And I used to love to eat shrimp, so much so that my family all nicknamed me Shrimp, which was kind of odd because I was just a giant compared to everyone else. My favorite drink, there's no question, it's Crown Black and Diet Coke. So cheers to each and every one of you who've uh, taken a few minutes to enjoy the time like I have today. Thanks Don and crew for the special time and the drink. Of course at HD Liquid Catering you can't go here without consuming something, right? But thanks for watching today and this has been My Ilea Dallas Spotlight. <laughs>